Hello, my name is Thayan and I like to experiment with all kinds of AI technologies. It is Tuesday, 24th of October 2023 and Midjourney has released the phase one of the long-awaited website. They have been talking about this during the office hours for months now so let's take a look at what they have come up with. So patch notes tell us that this new website concentrates now more on searching, browsing and viewing your images. And we don't get that many new features to it at this point. So no image generation on the website yet. But let's take a look. You can get access to it at the moment via the address beta.midjourney.com. But in the future this version may replace the current website in the current address. On the first look it looks pretty similar to the old website with some minor changes. We do still get a feed of pretty images on the front page of Explore. I don't like the light mode that much and I usually prefer the dark mode for everything. So it seems to be in a pretty accessible place here to set it on and off. That's much better. I am guessing the upper bar where the search used to be we will get the image creation part in the future. Right now it's grayed out and doesn't do anything. The search is in a pretty logical place. I tried searching for a couple random things and it feels pretty fast. Some stuff seems to be removed from here. There used to be the hot and top and rising pages which are no longer there. At one point I even remember there being the option to sort images based on top one day, one week, one month and all time. I really liked that feature. Now it's kind of unclear what is the basis of selecting these images for the front page. The likes page shows you the images that you have liked, both your own and other people's. Hovering over the images looks quite nice. There seems to be some less menus here now. You can copy the prompt of an image faster now, before you had to navigate through the menus. The image search is basically the same as before. And the three dots menu now needs clicking to access each menu where you had to hover over it before. When you click open an image, you see the new light box. I'm not sure what that is actually, but you can see the images on the right side of the page in small thumbnails under each other. And it seems that you can either use all of the arrow keys to move to the next or previous image and scrolling on your mouse also seems to work quite well. The My Images page is kind of strange now. Previously it looked like the Explore page and you could see your own top images as well which was one of my favorite features about this website just to kind of have a check of which images other people like out of My Images. But now it's like the Archive page. And I can't find the grids anywhere anymore. All the images are separated. It doesn't even seem possible to download the images as grids anymore. I guess for most people that's good, but from my point of view it kind of adds more work for me as I usually save the grids when I make my videos. The rating page looks pretty much like it did before. It lets you rank two images side by side and you select your favorite out of them or you can skip with the button in the top right of the page. A new thing here is that you can use the one and two keys for a quick selection for the rating. And if you didn't already know, this is a really good way to get a free daily fast hour. I have been able to get the free hour for several times and it doesn't even take that long. So far it has only took a couple of minutes of rating images and I have gotten a free fast hour on the next day. And that looks like it's pretty much it. There are some buttons in the lower left side of the page, but they're mainly external links. Community button takes you to the Discord server for mid-journey. View help shows you the option to go to either the billing support page or documentation page, which have been there for some time already. The documentation page does have quite good instructions and guides and explanations of different features so it's worth checking out as well. And the three dots next to your account name direct you either to the manage subscription page or to sign out.
Those are pretty self-explanatory. I didn't even realize before that you can check out from the Manage subscription page how many fast hours you still have left and how many bonus hours you have received for the month. I normally just check the slash info and it just tells you how many hours you have left and doesn't give you a breakdown like this. So my overall impression is that we seem to be getting less and less features each time Midjourney updates their website. The sentiment on the beta feedback channel on Discord seems to agree also. The speed is much better than before, but I guess that is the only thing that looks like it's an improvement. But I personally do still prefer the old website to this new one even though it's painfully slow most of the time. I do get that David has mentioned in the office hours that he doesn't want this website turning into everything that's wrong with social media, but now it's impossible to get any statistics on your own images. I liked seeing which of my images other people liked the most. Several people have also commented about the search feature. I haven't used it so much, but it seems to be really literal for your own images. Basically it doesn't search any related things with words, just the exact words. Another thing that was mentioned several times that I didn't even realize was that your own images feed crops the images to squares even though the images are not shaped like that. I did like seeing my own images in their original aspect ratio on my images page and it's not currently possible to change the layout of it like before. If you want to look at an image, you have to open it now. Somebody also mentioned that when you open the image, you no longer see the size of the image in pixels like you did before. This means that it's impossible to tell which of the images is the grid image and which is the upscale and which is the 2x or 4x upscale, because they all look the same and you have to guess which of them is the one you want to download. Apparently you cannot see the parent-child chain of the images anymore. And the related images used to show up under each image when you opened it as well. I also still miss the feature that would allow you to filter images based on what model was used and what version of Midjourney. What do you think? Am I being too critical of this new website or should Midjourney bring back at least the features they had before they make this new website as the main experience? Let me know in the comments below. Also if you like this kind of content, please consider leaving a like for this video or even subscribing to my channel to see more stuff like this. Thank you for watching and let's continue prompting.